uh, the next it's item is uh, performance report for the year yeah. uh, to uh, June 2016. Uh, Raf, you'd like to move that yep. and seconded by Johnny Chen. Are there any questions? Yanni, yeah, who's, 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 who's answering on this one? It really depends on the question. Oh, okay. All right. So you can all just wait. Wait. <laughs> just go for coffee. Wait with bated breath. Right, Yanni, far away. It was just on the street maintenance. Um, there was uh, um, concern that we're not meeting our performance level. Um, and there was comment made that that was due to the change in level of service in terms of the frequency of road sweeping. So I just wanted to check, um, yeah, what, what basically, if we're putting back that level of service, or whether that needs to be a formal resolution. Sorry. I presume you're taking a the undertaking channel sweeping rather than collection yep. to agreed standards, um, yep. which is sitting on page four four five. Yep. Um, we are talking with the uh, contractors around that to. Um, it's measured in the way of, I think, in a number of complaints, isn't it? And we actually got in the 1516-4403. So we are looking at um, whether we are sweeping the right streets at the right frequency. So there is a bit of work so going on with the contractors regarding that. So is that also including litter collection? Because, I mean, um, it, it says that the frequency of sweeping was changed in 1516, and I'm really just trying to understand if that was an activity management level of service change that we made as part of the annual plan, or whether that's something that staff have just done. Basically, litter, litter is sitting between two different areas. There's litter that's on the street, which is done under this contract, and there's litter that's off the street that's done under another contract. And so we are making sure the levels of service of those are coordinated. One of the problems that we have had, and a good example would be the Avon River precinct where we've had changes in uh, services because parts of the big area have been shut off and it's put uh, concentrated effort into other areas. And a good example would be the little triangular park that's uh, by the Bridge of Remembrance where we suddenly had everyone having morning and afternoon tea and lunch there and basically we needed people there three times a day to empty the litter bins and we didn't have any, well we didn't have any space to put any infrastructure in. So what we're trying to do is to see how we can match our services to demand. We've got another issue around um, uh, Akara is another one that's uh, causing us quite a lot of area of concern, particularly around um, the bus. We, I'm not sure whether we've got enough infrastructure in there, but those are things that we are looking at. Do we need to add more infrastructure? Do we need to actually get, how do we change those frequencies? Uh, and is there ways that we can do things smarter rather than, uh, than, than more expensive, if that makes sense? What I'm, just, what I'm trying to understand is like our levels of service wasn't to reduce the frequency of sweeping, it was to reduce the number of complaints but what we've been told is that we reduced the number, we reduced the frequency at 1516, which is why we've now got more complaints. And I'm trying to understand how something well, no, like no, that no, can no, there happen. may not be a correlation. That's, that's right. the, and I guess that's the point that we need a little yeah. bit more reporting well, on. And we are in the comments. on that because there's a, a wide range of different factors going in. So we're analysing that, then trying to get how was those levels of service going in, and we're looking at the way in which potentially we may shift our, as you may be aware, uh, a number of our major maintenance contracts are coming to the end of their um, uh, life and so we're looking at maybe a better way to re-package um, re, um, those so we have like with like even though they get funded out of different buckets. And it but may well it be that, that, that well that the way that I read that is, is that you, you want to um, look to see at, look at the CSRs to see if there are key hotspots. So, and that's your point: is that some areas you get shut off from, which means that people do things in other areas that they wouldn't normally do, and then that increases the level of CSRs. You can appreciate, particularly in town here, we are going yeah. to inherit quite a bit of infrastructure reasonably quickly, and we then have to reprioritise about how we do that. And so, I think some of those train hotspots the seagulls will and ducks not to do certain activities mm -hmm. on all that concrete. 
So, <laughs> so I, I just looked at today and there's a huge amount of, um, of litter because of the storm we've just had. You know, we've had a huge, if anyone's been in an area where they've collected rubbish today, we've had more rubbish bins blown over than... So, so to return to the frequency that we used to have, what would the cost be? I don't know that, and Can I'm we not. Get so, what, what we don't know, know that. The but it, we is don't the know that it's the correlated. Correct. That's the thing. It, 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 I, it might say that, Yanni, but it in, doesn't. In the community, like in, in Eastgate Mall, what they were told was, we've gone from collecting rubbish. Uh, sorry, sweep, sweeping, sweeping, street sweeping, um, from every two weeks to every four weeks. So we know that, like, that is a change of level of service that the community have been concerned about. So. I'm just trying to understand, because I don't understand why the remedial action here is to then refocus sweeping frequencies where most urgently needed will mean that other areas then get even lesser frequency. And that's what worries me. I want us to actually keep to the frequency that, that we had before we reduce the frequency. Because I and think look, that's what's causing the The level complaints. of service is around customer satisfaction. It's not around the frequency. And so what we are saying in here, mm. as the Mayor saying, is that we are trying to collate how do we deliver that service in relationship to customer satisfaction, which is what it is? And, you know, a, a very good example, you only need to go down Well Street and you see that now as a back, you know, we've, we've moved the centre of uh, nights, um, uh, Friday, Saturday nights to that area and we get more litter there than we used to get that used to happen in the middle of town. So it's those changing environments that we need to do. Uh, it may be absolutely applicable. We, we may be sweeping streets that don't need to be swept. So what we're trying to do is take that resource and put it to the point which is going to provide the maximum satisfaction of the, the, could, the end user. Could you get a specific report together on this issue and send it to ITI? Is that, sure. is that possible? Because yeah. I, I mean, it would be quite good to understand what the correlations are yeah. because I don't believe that they are related to, to the frequency of the sweeping, it's the changing nature of the uses of different parts of the city that's having more of an impact and then people are complaining. Yep. You know, so I mean it's different areas of, you know, and I mean in Linwood it might be because of the, sweep, the, the sweeping but it won't be the same across the city mm -hmm. and I think having levels of service based on, on outputs or um, rather than outcomes are uh, uh, I mean, inputs are, inputs, are, are, yeah, are, are not Correct. the way to go. And that's what we've tried to move away from. I don't think anyone's going in that direction. Recognise that, and that's the work that's but, been but done. But if you, so, yeah, would you be happy to accept a report like that at your committee? Yeah. And indeed, that that would be good. Yeah. Yeah. And so like, like there's clearly like, like for example, when it comes to uh, leave sweeping, the seasonal variations too. So how all of those sort of variables are built into it will be useful. Okay. So can I make the resolution that we uh, seek a report on? Um, well, Remedial we don't, we don't, we don't need to, you to move four, four, a resolution. Five. Well, just to add another one, I'm sure Councillor Manji and Chen will be more than happy to okay. accept some wording that asks for a report on um, uh, under the um, roads and footpaths undertake channel sweeping rubbish and litter collection to agreed standards yeah. that a report be um, uh a, a detailed report analysing the um, <coughs> the increased CSRs uh, and identifying these hotspots uh, be be provided to um, the ITI committee. Do, do you want it, the <coughs> David? How long do you need it? Like the first ITI committee of the new council? We'll we'll try and target that. I'm, I'd have to go and talk to the staff, but they would be able to pull the framework together by that time anyway. Yeah. So yeah. Ah. Okay, and I think it would be useful to circulate that around the community boards as well, given that, that this has been an issue that's been raised repeatedly through community boards. Yeah, but I think that after it's been to ITI, it would be good. Yeah. yeah. Right. Do we need the exact wording? Uh, uh, report to, uh, and analyse the increased customer service requests on. And and the um, and the key hotspots. 
Yep. Uh, you can put liver in there if you wish. Because um, yeah, they are two well. separate yeah. Oh, you've got liver in there, yeah. It's in there. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll put the motion. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried.